everybody that is watching. Welcome to Yas, this episode 14. Yes. I think it's episode 14. <clears throat> yeah, episode. Um, first, uh, first of all, Amelie, if you want to talk about our um, charity for the month, and then Pax will take us through... <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I was coughing earlier. And Pax will take us through uh, the recap, and then we will commence with playing. And I'm going to cough. Much. Uh, our charity for the month. Uh, we wanted to make sure that for Black History Month, we were highlighting the needs of the Black community. Um, and so we chose the Black Women's Health Imperative. They are the first nonprofit organization that was, has been created by Black women to help protect and advance the health and wellness of Black women and girls. Uh, in 2010, black women had a maternal mortality rate that was three times higher than that of white women. Um, and often we see what we see is that black women, uh, black people in general, but especially black women are not believed by health professionals. Um, and so Black Women's Health Imperative is an organization created by black women in order to help improve those uh, rates and improve the health care that black women receive. All right. Thank you very much, Emily. Uh, Pax, would you like to take us through the recap? I would love to. Thank you for asking. Previously on Yas, we met up at Cream. We had some very pleasant conversations in which no one was accused of being murdered. No one at all. Um, then... <laughs> No one. Then we went uh, looking for more information to help ourselves prepare for the battle against, possible battle against the Alhoon. Uh, part of our party went to the Adventurers, the Emerald uh, Adventurers Guild, and got some potions. The and Emerald the Protectorate. One, that one. Not to be confused with the Emerald Enclave or the Pine Guard. I almost emerald said, I almost went in and was like, Emerald Enclave, and I was like, that's not right anymore. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> the Emerald Protectorate. And they got some potions that, that hopefully will help us. And the other half of the party, at the same time, went to the, uh, the university that also has a different name. And uh, we were looking in the library, because that's where you go when you go on an adventure in front of the library, where we started looking through some books to get some information and during those studies Robin discovered that Zareth was a git which is the um, the main enemy of the mind players and so now the party is hoping that Zareth will be able to use his awesome git powers to help beat the Alhoon which is a uh, mind player who uses then we continued on looking for the portal because Zareth, our resident Mind Player expert, thought that the Mind Player would be at the portal. So we continued on to the portal where we met a new friend, or possibly a new friend, uh, a mysterious crab getter who may or may not have followed us into the final portal. And I just want to point out right here that Robin was very good did not rush into the portal, waited until Jack said it was okay, because Robin is working on themselves to be less impulsive, but the next portal led to Mechanic, which of course is Robin's dream come true to visit the land of robots, so of living robots. So that's where we left off the party. We had walked right into Mechanic, and if anyone would like to add anything else that they experienced that I forgot to mention, you may do so now. Oh, um, I want to say Bastet did learn something about the mysterious flower, that it's a calendula and it yeah. is made, it is not, it was not grown, it was made um, and it is conceivably a gift from Melora. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, well, one of our players had an encounter with God. Forgot about that. <laughs> It's and a little <laughs> Those okay. crazy paladins and their gods. Can I know, we, right? So can we go to the land of the robots now, please? 
Well, today starting. You are in the lands of Mechanic. Uh, so you are on the plane of Mechanus. You came through. You are standing on a giant gear made of like brass and copper, and you see the is world. It horizontal, I assume. Yes, it is. It's horizontal. You are not like you're not. You're not doing. It's not. What is the movie the little um, the little tramp movie where he's like on the, all the gears? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. That's what I was picturing. I was modern, like, modern life, modern something. What is something. Called? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that is where you are, and you see there are gears. There is it's clockwork. It is a world of clockwork in here. And you see flying around some of the Modrons that you fought on the Prime Material with their little wings. You see some duo drones and you see some tri drones, and then you see some other things that you haven't seen before. And you guys are just kind of Roxy. Sorry, every time I see Roxy, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> she got to meet her this week. Yeah, I did. I dropped everybody. I dropped some stickers off for the Austin area folks, so I got to I get to pet Roxy. Um, so he's. Baby Albert oh kept it. So, uh, this is where you guys are. What are you doing? Is, any, is anything near us, or do we have like a decent amount of space to ourselves right now? Um, you're standing, there's nothing really around because, unsurprisingly, in Mechanis, there are no like trees or parks or anything. It's just kind of like sometimes there's open space and there are also little shops. And it's all made out of metal, um, but uh, there's no food vendors. There's nobody like street stalls or anything. I like just want to make sure, yeah, more that nothing's too yeah. close to us. But um, yeah, right now, what we are what we are doing is that we need to very carefully, very cautiously be looking for signs of the Alhum. We need to stay together as a unit, and we need to walk. As a unit, I. How many of us are there? Hold on. Uno, dos, tres, seven. seven. There's seven of you guys. Okay, so if if um, if we basically do say one person and then three rows of two, we should look like like all of these. What do you call them again, Robin? Ro robot. 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 The robot. Robot. Uh, um, these are uh, these are they're more than robots. These okay, are, these more than robots. Amazing. Um, uh, I would like for Robin to be next to me, please, and I will take up the rear. <laughs> I'm going to roll for investigation just to kind of like. Because Robin is looking so intently at every single, just looking, 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 looking. Okay, Whatever. make an inv Whatever. investigation or sure. perception. Sure, make an investigation check. I am making, I am making this check of investigation. Oh, that's Pan's dice. Gotta roll my dice on Pan's dice. Pan is not looking for investigation. Okay, I got a nineteen. Okay, um, you're looking at all of this stuff, and you are used to make, working with wood. Metal is not your main, your main um, material. Yeah. You do understand a little bit about uh, metal and how it works and gears and stuff like that. So this is a world of, of obviously mechanics it's called mechanist but there's magic built into that it's the it's everything is gears and metal and clockwork but it's magic that makes it go so, so it's a weird dichotomy of a of a plane um do i see yeah. any signs at all of the alhoon that's a different that's a different check i'm going to pull out my um my compass and see if I can't track the Alhoom okay. with an investigation or with a with a uh, with a with a skill check. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, so seven plus eight is fifteen. Okay. Um, your compass is a little confused. 
because there isn't really a north, south, east, west going on, and there's a bunch of metal and the, the metal and the compass, and even though it's magical and the metal, all of the metal on this plane, and your compass is kind of like. Uh, 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 uh. So my, magi- ma- so my magical compass mixed with the magical plane mixed with the ma- with uh, with all the metal is making my compass, you know, spin circles. Yeah. Do the um, spinning circle or it'll just like go, it's like a clock. They're just ticking back and forth. Like, so either we have so no then, idea or we're standing on top of it. like holds his compass in his hand, like looks at it confusedly, like smacks it a few times and just says, nah, shit. <laughs> Jack, you said that you would take the rear with Robin. Mm-hmm. Then, um, the new, the new, uh, person, Nelia, uh, thank you for coming through with us. This is a very dangerous place. I am happy to have you here and meet you, but I'm very nervous having you here also. So maybe you can walk in front of Jack. This is Jack (laughs) and Robin. This is Robin. Wait, there's um, a new person. There... Zareth says, like turning around. <laughs> um, I will just like settle in next to Nelia. I take my bag of crabs and I put it through the portal and I like just put it right there. <laughs> so that was, so then Zareth and Bastet, you will be behind me, which is great. You are very tall. Okay, uh, except, I mean, you are very tall. Whistler looks a little bit mournfully after the bag of crabs. Like, oh, it's not coming. I'm not gonna <laughs> carry know. that. The bag crabs of crabs. Crabs are chaotic. is pig in this weird Wait, world. I'm sorry, what's in the bag? Crabs? Crabs. I imitate crab um, sounds. Okay, maybe keep it. No, you know, it's tied we, up. No, you put it on the other side of the portal. It, it's on the regular side. Oh, okay. It's not on our side. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Well, it is on our I side. Really but she brought it I mean, our that. usual it's side, terrible. not our current side. It's on the material plane, yes. Um, Zareth, do you have an idea of which way we should be going? Um, Zareth opens the compass and points it at you and lets you see all of the ridiculous nonsense. And okay, well, I'm says, not, like, you know, I'm not, um, I'm, I I I don't sail. I don't do cartography. But I'm going to um, assume it's now supposed to do that. Correct. Okay. Um, I would like to uh, kind of look around. I can't believe I'm going to use this pun. Get my bearings. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> um, and try to figure out if there's a like something that looks like where we should be headed. Like make a perception check. Uh, I'm gonna support that perception check. Sweet, because now it's a dirty 20. Okay. (laughs) It's a little bit better. But, Um, Finlan, here's the issue. You are used to mountains and caves and woods and grasslands and water. And this place, like, hell made more sense to you. Hell at least had dirt. Had a top and a bottom and a top and a bottom. A top and a bottom. <laughs> a top and a bottom. Hell <laughs> hell hell was like, oh, okay. And then you went to the earth plane. You're like, okay, I understand dirt. I mean it's mountains growing sideways, but still it's dirt. You went to right. the frost hell. You're like, ice. I understand ice. Yeah. This place is so foreign to you. To all of you, really. You cannot really tell what the difference between like, what might be some sort of seat of government and like, what is maybe just a statue. Like you do, you cannot tell what all of these, there's no signs in front of anything that says like city hall. It's just like, yeah. <sighs> these are not going to be easy, but I think that we do a small perimeter check here and we go I will say 10 meters out and do a perimeter and just see because I am still not certain that the Alhoon is here I don't feel that in my head like like we had before but if we move away from the portal maybe that will change so I just want to go is like are we going to walk off the edge of this 
yeah. gear platform. Yep. Is there a way down? Can I? I mean, do you want? I got. I got. Mixed. Can I do a general, like a general intelligence check as someone who is like an expert? General at, intelligence. Like I have made a construct. I understand construct a little bit. Like, can I make an intelligence check to see if I can see any patterns in their behavior or anything? Nope. I can't. I mean, nope. if, if, I you don't, don't, no, if you don't, there's no way off of this gear. Not that you can see. Okay, I did the perimeter check, <laughs> and um, um, I mean, it's you can no look good. down. We're about 15 feet off of the, like. If you look down 15 feet below you, there is like something that would approximate a street. Um, and it is still made. It's it looks more like a conveyor belt type thing, but um, what we would know is a conveyor belt. Um, but that is like 15 feet below you. So we hop. are a good three meters up off of um, some sort of moving strip. And there does not look to be a way down. Um, oh, I mean, for people who don't have wings. <laughs> Jack. Jack, I will, Jack. I will hop down. What? Jack. Oh, oh. We're supposed to be staying in order though. I follow Whistler. Yeah, I, I, I am hearing Robin <laughs> uh, trying to get my attention. Um, I am also very concerned about the fact that Whistler just jumped down. So oh, I followed. Robin, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whistler jumped down. Nuria followed, completely ignoring this whole we're staying in line thing. And Whistler, I would like to point out that Whistler was fully like, yes, we're staying in line. And then it was like, well, that's the perimeter. And she was like, wait, what's down there? And then just went. All Delia, oh, all Delia sorry, remembers is that Whistler said that they'd fast. stay with them. Uh, so I do want to hear what Robin has to say, but please talk fast. I was just saying, I, I have feather fall if you need help me down. It'll be safe. Safe uh, to Get us all down, please. Because Whistler's Sorry. already that way. Yeah, yeah. I can crawl okay. down and climb down easily. Yeah, it's not a hard check. Everybody make an athletics check. Whistler, you can make it with okay. advantage because you kind of glide down on your wings, even though you can't flap. You can go and like glide a little bit. 22. 21. 17. I think Robin and I both have to climb though, don't we? Yeah, but there's nothing to climb down on. We're literally just yeeting off of it. Down. We're just going, huh, and yeah, yeeting yeah. off. So yeah. we're a floor and a half. half. We're a floor and a half off the ground. So it'd be yeah. like, yeah, it would be like did if you were anybody, jumping off the roof of a one story house. Did anybody roll below a 10? Okay, then everybody's good. You all landed. Just like you're, you're adventurer. You're adventurers. Look how good you are at this. Is Ari uh just purple for anybody else? No. No. Okay. I'm just making Aerie. sure. Just as so, an FYI, uh, for those of you who are watching, the day that we are recording this, uh Texas ex is experiencing what we would call unusually cold weather. And we're in Texas and we're not used it's to snowing. it. <laughs> So all of our technology might be going a little bit because um, that's how things go. Our infrastructure is not uh, built to handle this kind oh, of. Straight up holding my yeah. breath and I don't lose power again. So yeah. So oh, oh yeah. FYI, so, I also I will say as a DM, I am planning on making this a relatively short game because we are all experiencing like this weather and issues. So when we go for it, so instead of just doing a bio break at eight, we'll probably just break at eight. So it'll be uh, a short episode. Um, so everybody's so landing on a deck. So you guys land. Wait, can I, can I please just <laughs> describe this? Okay. So everybody lands on this thing. You are moving without moving your feet. The, this, whatever it is, it's just moving you along. Oh no. Okay, is there um, a way to get off? <laughs> I, Jack grabs Robin and like grabs Robin's shoulder and like put, puts them next to to their right and then like 
grabs Nelia's shoulder and says, I'm sorry, but, and like, put, places Nelia in front of her. I was gonna lay on the ground and be like, oh shit, moving and lay on the ground. <laughs> be like, no. Um, <laughs> Finland so I can't is fall down that free- way. Uh, so Finland is freaked out that we are moving and she's losing the ability to memorize the landscape for how we're going to get back to the portal and is trying to kind of run upstream. I'm doing the treadmill thing uh, to try, right? Because I'm like, we can't lose sight of this. Um, so I've turned around and I'm trying to go the opposite direction. Make a check. <laughs> I, it's my strong suit. <laughs> you're, you're making a uh, athletics check against a conveyor belt. Let's see how well the conveyor belt's doing. Twenty-six. You beat the conveyor belt. Wow. It's not going extraordinarily quickly. I rolled a so nineteen. If you try real, real hard. You can move back to like right underneath, but every like as you were going that way, all of your friends are going the other direction. Well, now I'm freaked out about that. Now I'm like, well, can I run with, well, I do a check. I do a like, this is, this is a building that is here. This is, there's yeah. this gear. Like I'm trying to memorize this insane landscape in yeah. any way that's going to be meaningful. Um, Which Sarah, is not my suit. <laughs> would I but, be able yeah. to have Pan root like, keep track of where we're going. I don't think that's one of Pan's do. abilities. I don't think cartography is one of Pan's abilities. Next. Yes. Uh, Next time Elizabeth. I build a construct. As a far, as a far traveler, my... <gasps> that's is. right! So oh. as a far traveler, what was what is it? I think we're just better at um, once we are in a landscape, we can become familiar with it. Okay. Yeah. So it's harder so, for you to get lost, basically. Yeah. It's- so I can, I can, I can. You know, I've made note of like the main little gear that we came on and which side we came down. So hopefully that'll get us somewhat back. Okay. So you guys are just moving along on the conveyor belt. You don't know. I'm running to catch up. Okay. Uh, Finland is running. I look up at Jack and I say, it's Jack, uh, give me what I'm going to say. I can send Mick ahead and he can go and like, look what's down the ferret, the ferret. No, that's yeah. I, I highly appreciate the offer. Um, just to see. We so we're not into... falling down because it could end. I am concerned for the livelihood of Mick as uh, we've run into the creatures who inhabit this place before. Uh, if you are sure that he can get out of anything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's just that when I do it, I won't be able to see or hear you guys. So you'll have to take care well, of me. <laughs> I can do that. Okay. And I send Mick off, and then I do that, and I go run like a hundred. As far as the conveyor belt goes, it's yeah. hundred. So feet. it's going off into the distance, <laughs> like it's going, 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 and so Mick just sh- starts scurrying uh, down the conveyor belt, and you guys notice Nellia's eyes, which are normally what color? Nellia's uh, eyes, red. Red, kind of go and kind of glaze over a little bit, and go to like a whiteish pink color. And uh, Nellia, you cannot hear, you cannot see. And Mick's eyes, which are normally like a brownish color, turn red. So they are effectively Nellia's eyes now. And you, you, you have, you have, you've experienced this before, where you're all of a sudden everything is down here now. Like your vision goes from up here to down here because Mick is so small and he's scurrying. So scurrying along, scurrying along, scurrying along, and uh, make a perception check for Mick. Okay. Uh, I gotta pull up his. I gotta pull up the stats for a weasel again. I have them because I did this. It should be your per- uh, your perception score. Is it mine? If you no, it's 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 the weasel. It's it's whatever it says on Find Familiar. Oh, let me look. Because <laughs> if it's if it's your eyes, I think it is because it's your brain in there basically right yeah. now. I think if it's so. fine, familiar, it's their stats. Okay. No, uh, the caster stat. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Is it Modro or Modro? Uh, However you want to pronounce it. This is a 19. Okay. Um, Mick is running. Mick is going to doing his little thing. <laughs> and then all of a sudden... Oh boy. Yep, that was pretty good. That was a 19. All of a sudden, on the back of Mick's neck, being up in the air. So what you see is your Mick is probably at this point maybe 9 to 10 feet in the air. And you can kind of feel around your neck and shoulder areas a, almost like a vice like it's not gripping so much just like break the spine of this creature but it has a very strong grip on it <laughs> something does uh, uh nelly is gonna say like oh shit and you guys could hear nelly say that <laughs> uh, what has happened uh, mix been what captured what is wrong with nelia uh, can we see it she it uh, she is. She was using Mick to see ahead. Um, I, I, I asked her if uh, Mick would be if Mick was fast enough to get away from whatever might go after it. But where's Mick? Um, the ferret. Oh, that little the animal. Kitten. Yes, the cute ah. white thing. Zareth draws his sword. Kind of. Non-shalom. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. Like, oh, yeah. like, All right, here we go. I'm gonna. How far? How far away is Mick from us? Mick's maybe about two hundred feet away. Oh well. I can't. Well, as soon as he's two hundred feet, I can't see anything anymore. Because it's a hundred feet distance. So as soon as he gets okay. out of that. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. So. Um, yeah. Uh, you guys are still on the conveyor belt moving. <laughs> Um, yep. can we, is it moving we? so fast that if we tried to walk on it, it would, we would not be able to? No, it's moving relatively slowly. It's like this. Pace. I just ran on it, so you should be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not like I'm- <laughs> Yeah, but you work out a lot. It's a- I work out! Steady pace, yeah. <laughs> you can definitely walk on it if you want to. Uh, I, I, well, uh- I it's essentially like uh, people movers at the airport. Like, we have uh, uh, we have a ferret to rescue. <laughs> oh, I just <laughs> got here. Okay, where is it? Uh, down that, that way. way. Okay, I take off. Yes. <laughs> so I'm not you that guys... good at this magic shit. Okay, <laughs> walk forward. And you notice as you start getting closer and closer and closer, as it gets to 60 feet, uh, from 60 or so feet, maybe a little further away than that, off to the side, standing on another kind of metal platform, it's a little bit larger that leads to something, you see like an eight foot tall metal person holding a wiggling <gasps> ferret in their hand. Oh, I create. Fall in. I Everybody fall in. I make, I make Mick disappear. <laughs> Nick, he goes good. away. He's safe now. Um, he is I away. Yeah. Yeah. and turns around and is like, "Wait, am I now not rescuing it?" I just needed to get it. Then, like, sorry, I could. It's a long story. It's magic. <laughs> so you see ahead what? of you now. Go back. Yeah, yeah. Now, 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 gripping nothing. It's art, and it just you see a, a metal head turn and look at you and step off of the platform onto the conveyor belt and they start walking with purpose towards you. Oh, oh no, we've got to go. Everybody, Hi. we've got to go. I say the well, command word and my It's not friendly. <laughs> it could, you guys, why do you assume it's, it's unfriendly? It could be like the Yeti, it could be very friendly. So, what, are, okay, I'm gonna go, okay, before, before everybody starts talking, Okay, I'm gonna go around in a circle and I'm gonna say your name and I'm gonna ask you what you're doing. So nobody else talk unless I have said your name or your character's name. Because I need to know what everybody's doing. Bostet, what are you doing? See the guy and I'm like, I know where we came in and I wanna go back from where we came in. So, so Bostet is turning and running away. Trying to. Okay. Jack, what are you doing? 
Uh, I am stepping off uh, of the conveyor belt and uh, readying my sword and my shield. Okay. Zareth, what are you doing? Um, I speak the command word to ignite my fiery sword, and I am stepping. I am stepping equally purposefully towards the, uh, to the towards the creature. Okay, Robin, what are you doing? Um, I'm using my uh, my jug. I, I'm, I'm. What is that? I can't remember it now. It's called the jug that that has different liquids in it. I'm turning it into jug? oil. Yeah, yeah, my chemical jug. I'm turning it into oil. And I'm saluting, and I'm waving, and I'm saying hi to the big robot guy. I'm going to try to charm him. Okay, Finland, what are you doing? Um, I have stepped off right where Jack has stepped off, and I am trying to pull Jack back towards the the portal. Okay, Nalia, what are you doing? I mean, I was in front of everybody, and I just kind of, like, stopped. I know we're still moving, and I, like, hold my arms out, and I'm like, we got to go, guys. We came for the ferret. The ferret's gone. We can go now. We should go. Whistler, <laughs> what are you doing? <coughs> I'm just like walking in place on the conveyor belt. Staying on the belt, but like just not moving forward, not moving back. Like, what are we doing? I don't, don't know. Probably pulling out her battle axe or at least reaching for her battle axe and just okay. kind of like a very... Okay. Where are we going? What are we doing? For those of you who are not, and I repeat this, not actively walking or running or flying or moving in some form back to the portal, roll for initiative. Now, I would like to also say this. Initiative does, its, it's initiative is for encounters. It does not have to just be for battle. So if you want to attack, you are more than welcomed. But I would also say initiative also just determines who goes first in any particular encounter. So throwing that out there. Okay. Please so, hold. Your any, yeah, sorry, I had to get up. I had to get, I forgot. <laughs> right. So here we go. All right. Uh, anybody get above a 20? Between a 15 and a 20. I got a 19. 19 for Same. Robin. Jack and Robin got a 19. Oh, Harris, what did you get? Uh, 14. Uh, okay, between 10 and 15, so we got a 14 for Zareth. Uh, wait, I got a 15. 15 for um, Whistler. What did Nelia, Nelia get? Oh, I got 10. Okay, and uh, oops. Uh, did you, did, uh, Finland, did you roll? Yeah. What'd you roll? Uh, eight. Eight. Okay. Do 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 do. Well. All right. The person who is going first, Robin and Jack. You guys determine who goes first. You guys got the highest initiative. Um. Well. Robin is gonna try to make a friendly overture to the robot. So maybe we wanna try that before we attack the, the, or the Modrone. Are you cool with that? Uh, I mean, sure, go for it. Okay. So Jack, Robin Jack is in full on protective mode. Right. So like, Robin not is sitting not on top of Pan. Okay. Um, has mechanics affected Pan at all, nope. uh, Sarah? Nope. As a construct? Okay, so Pan is exactly, mm -hmm. Pan didn't like suddenly get an adorable personality or anything? Nope. So, Robin is sitting on Pan and uh, holds up the, alchem the uh, alchemy jug and it's full of oil. Uh, it says oil, I'm gonna say in this case, the oil is um, oil for chemical things, not oil for cooking oil, and uh, oh, holds it up to the giant, yeah, Okay. and says, uh, I know Pan loves this stuff, would you like a drink? Hi, hail and well met. Okay, Jack, what are you doing? The same time. Uh, 
So I know that like Zareth is walking. I see Zareth walking purposefully towards uh, this creature. Yeah. And uh, the majority of the party is trying to go in the other direction. Um, and so I am once again like, you know what? No, I'm going to defend my party. And so I just take a defensive stance and okay. waiting for it to. Whistler, what are you doing? You're next in the initiative. I am. Befuddled? I guess. Yeah, we're just really befuddled. You know what? Hang on. I want to roll. Not befuddled. Wow, okay. Uh, wow. I'm just gonna get off. Yeah, no. I'm shocked too. Uh, I'm gonna get off the conveyor belt. And uh, I think I'm just going to wait. Just I'll, I'll, I'll hold an attack if it attacks us. But otherwise, okay. I'm just watching. All right, Zareth. Are you gonna try to speak to it? <laughs> um, uh, what check do I need to make to know what the uh, the likely protocol for this creature is within this plane? Is uh, that make an intelligence check. Just an intelligence check. Just a straight intelligence. Mm -hmm. Coolest beans. Uh, not nineteen on the dice plus uh, four, so just a flat intelligence is twenty three. Okay, um, you would know because you have a little bit more experience going from plane to plane that um, this creature is walking towards you with purpose. This creature is not walking towards you with weapons drawn or with any kind of like aggressive manner. They are walking okay. purposely, but that is basically the only way they can walk because they are a giant being made of metal. Okay. So it's just kind of coming towards you the only way it can with its big giant metal feet. Cool. I I I come towards it with my regular feet, um, and uh, I'm gonna let it make the first maneuver. Um, I'm in front of you guys. A, in holding position. Because I have a ready to action. To yeah, cast you I'm in front of you guys going like this. <laughs> And Nelia, it is in fact your turn. Oh, uh, oh God, what do I do? <laughs> There's in between ah. the party and All this metal creature is Nelia, and I'm just like. Sir, do I do I actually get up to the to the creature if we're no. walking towards one another? No, okay. no. Nelia is still in between you at this point. Uh, huh. I don't know. What can I do? That's the real question now. I'm not used to playing a character like this. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to Nothing. be a special ability. You yeah, no, like, I'm just like, stop. Like, I mean, basically, that's all Nelly is doing. Nelly is being like, we gotta go back. This is a bad idea. <laughs> okay, and then, uh, Finland, it is your turn. I'm all like, Mask of the Wild. Attempt to hide when slightly obscured by nature or natural phenomenon. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, let's see, I'm currently behind Jack because I'm trying to pull Jack. Jack's now pulled out your shield. Jack is in full defensive stance, you're not. Um, um, <laughs> oh no, my battery is dying. I totally forgot to plug in my. Hang on! I hold my action! Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Finland holds her action for battery, um, which is appropriate on Mechanus. Um, so uh, at this point, coming up to Nelia, Nelia, do you have your? Are you facing the party or are you facing the metal creature? I'm facing the party. Okay, so from behind you, you feel a tap, tap, like a really heavy, forceful tap, tap, tap on your shoulder. Okay, I, uh, I, I turn around and I look at him and I, I, I wave. <laughs> look up. Um, it is in fact, to be curious, this is a Warforged. So it is about eight feet tall, uh, metal humanoid. And this is the first time you guys have seen Modrons, Duodrones, Tridrones. This one is shaped like a bipedal um, creature. Two arms, two legs, head, eyes, mouth, nose, all of that stuff. Um, 
there's like two blue kind of glowing orbs where, or glowing kind of orb thing where the eyes would be. And um, it has a mouth, a functioning mouth, and it opens its mouth. And I'm not going to try to do a mechanical voice because I, no. Um, so it just kind of taps you on the shoulder a few times and goes, Creature of flesh. The fuzzy thing. It belongs to you? Uh, may uh, maybe? <laughs> and then it's like, How maybe? Uh, how can it maybe belong to you? It either does or it does not. Well, sometimes it, sometimes it just disappears. Like it did just now. It goes, what is your purpose here? I look at everybody else. What's our purpose here? I'm actually, uh, oh. so Jack is going ah. to, it's going to stride up to Nelia um, to try and just make sure that she's safe uh, and look and looks up, uh, has sheathed her sword, but like still has her shield it, as worthless as she thinks it's going to be in this case. Um, and is like, we, we are, we came to explore, we're looking for a, another flesh creature with, a, and like makes <laughs> the, the tentacle mouth. The, yes, uh, Robin, what were you the, doing? At the same time as Jack is walking forward, what were you doing? I'm coming forward with my, my alchemy jug and I'm saying, I'm waiting for, for Jack to finish talking because Jack was talking first and yet when Jack is done I will say would you like a drink we're, we're just trying to find a, a dangerous creature that's been traveling between planes opening up these portals and this being looks at you and goes and as it's doing this it's walking in place so you're not like it's trying like so you're not keep going on the it goes we should move off of the walkway to continue this discussion. Hello guys, um, welcome to the break on this uh, short episode. Uh, Cause as you guys know, we kind of hit a bump in Texas cause we are all Texas based and we talked about it during this. A bunch of us didn't have power. A lot of us were affected by it. And if you want to support us um, with this whole thing that happened in Texas, you can support us by donating a Kofi or becoming a patron on Patreon or buying merch from us because we were all affected by this whole Texas disaster. And just a few quick announcements. Uh, the next episode is our last episode of this arc. Yeah, the arc's ending. <laughs> Isn't that weird? So it'll be the end of the arc. Uh, crazy, I know. With that though, we are starting our Star Trek adventure after this episode or the next episode that gets released. Which, this episode is a week late, I know, and that's on me. It's also on Texas having crazy snow. But since it's a week late, you guys are going to get two episodes in within like a week. This episode's coming up right now as you guys are seeing it. Next week will be the next episode. Isn't that fun? I'm excited. We haven't filmed it yet. I'm filming this break just before we're filming the last arc episode. Big thank you to Mike. Nistel for being a part of this whole thing and being our big bad evil guy. We had a lot of fun and he's a really nice guy and you guys should check out everything that he's a part of. I will 100% link everything down below for you guys on that. So yeah, Patreons, shoutouts, I almost forgot. A big thank you to Claudia Dronofsky, Helen Gore Laird, John B, and Adam Eiler. You guys are great. Um, if you want to have your name shouted out during this, you can either donate a Kofi or become a patron and you will get a shout out said by me but yeah hope you guys all enjoy and have a great day bye guys i do that and it just kind of steps to the side oh yeah like jack, jack so been on the side yeah okay. i thought we had already actually stopped and we're on no, the we side we're on the conveyor belt oh, he's on. I yeah, yeah, he's jack had gotten off Jack had gotten off okay. uh, when it first started striding towards us. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you guys have moved over now off of the conveyor belt onto the um, onto the side platform, and it's like, 
You're saying there is a dangerous creature? Are you not um, it? No, we... Okay, well... So, it's... There may be a dangerous creature here. We have come inside to see if... If it is here. And we are very sorry that the small animal got away from us. But we just need to know if anyone has seen... This Alhoon, it is um, like um, it like you know, and then of course universal sign for illicit. <laughs> it puts its fingers upon its chin and goes like this. Have yes. You, are you familiar with Mind Flayer? He looks and he goes, and you can kind of see its eyes closed, and it comes back. Mind Flayers, colloquial, material plane, <laughs> for Iliad, <laughs> illicit. Yes, and I yes, see the pictures I've drawn. Illithid. I show, I see it. I, I did a sketch. I show this, I show sketches I've got of, that I've been making. It's got these. Uh, there's one that's been going on opening portals between different planes of existence and we're trying to get to the bottom of that. Um, and, and they, and I, this creature kind of goes, uh, I will check in and see. And it says, stay here. Walk over, okay. Just kind of jumps, rocket boots up to another platform. And if you look up, <laughs> and you put your hand onto like this thing, and its hand opens up, and he sticks it in something. And oh no, we lost, we lost some of Houston. <laughs> yes, Finland, you would like, you like to say something? I, as soon as he goes up, right? I'm like. I hope that we can get some of these because I have no idea how we are getting back up to the portal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. I don't know either, man. Maybe, it's gonna maybe suck. You can get some. Yeah, Whistler's like, <laughs> I'll throw you. <laughs> so, um, you guys, are you just waiting there as it connects to this like central hub of information? So oh, it yeah. comes back about three minutes later, just jumps, lands for something that looks as heavy as it is. And it says, you are seven creatures of flesh. I have checked within the central database. On the plane of Mechanus, currently, there are 1,223 creatures made of flesh, including you. None of them are illithid. Okay, okay. well, thank you for looking. Uh, there are more like that. Too. Look at Darius. Jack, uh, actually, uh, Jack, uh, relaxes and says, then would you be able to help us go back to the gate, uh, to the portal and like points backwards at, to where they came from? Could you not use your feet to get up there? There are no stairs and we don't have this, um, a uh, spark fire out of our boots like you do and it just kind of goes you kind of hear it goes if it could go hum but it is an actual humming sound like a hum from electronics that hmm and and it just goes how inconvenient for you very yes yeah. <clears throat> sucks you got any more of those these are my feet i have only one pair of feet oh oh me too what do the other creatures of flesh do when they need to get up high? I do not know. I am not a creature of flesh. You have more experience at that, that, at that than I do. Whistler is just trying to jump really high in place now. Is there um, a... Um, is there something that could lift us? Like a... Like, like a floor elevator? that will go up? Like an elevator? I, I don't know, know if there are any know. elevators over... Where do you need to go? The portal is back that way and and up. Uh, it's only like, you know, five mm -hmm. meters. Yeah. They go over, they jump up back to that original thing. They do something else. The conveyor belt starts going the other direction. Oh. <laughs> so, you getting, so you guys are like, huh. <laughs> if you're on the conveyor belt, it's we now back on it. Words. So the conveyor belt starts going that direction. He goes, well, the walkway is headed the direction you need to go. But how will we get up? I is do there... not know. 
That is okay. not my function. I can climb. I can climb. It's, I can pull you up. It's not a climb. It's but there's just no a climb. drop. There is nothing to attach. There is nothing to climb up that you can see. But wait, You're I have rope, and it has it is a gear, so it has yeah. And so, All right, so as long as um, hold it's on, does somebody have a grappling hook? Jared can fly. Uh, no, we have someone who can fly. Whistler, sorry, Whistler wants to say something. Uh, repeating in its mechanical voice, your function. Uh, and it looks at you and goes. <laughs> Just well, I could watch tilting. these all day. Your function. Paladin. And it goes. It does the same thing where its eyes closed comes up. Paladin. Term. Noun. Warrior of a holy <laughs> creature. Goddess? You are a warrior of a holy creature. Puff out my chest a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am in a 4 on 3 f say, say that again? I am in S 4 one 3 f NS four one three F. My function is Paladin. Yeah. Uh, my function is to walk and move around the uh, pathways and walkways of this city and make sure that nobody is lost and no one is doing something they should not be doing. Protector. Yes. Can we Emerald Protector? I like show my badge. And he goes, I am not green. <laughs> I am not green. You are not green. And I like I I pull out the badge and just kind of hold it up so they can see. It, you can see it kind of Emerald leans protector. forward and like does the its eyes kind of kind of scans it and it goes, This is a new symbol to me. I have added it to my database. <laughs> Pin it back. Uh, Protectors. Yes. Okay. Do you have <laughs> any more need of me? You have uh, been very helpful. Thank you for everything. Um, and Jack, uh, like, kind of starts shuffling. Uh, Robin, both Robin and Nelia towards the reversed um, uh, conveyor belt and like, okay. Oh, Nelia let's go gets on that thing so fast. It was so fun. In at three, what was your designation? In at four, one, three, F. In S, four, one, three, F. In S. In S. Four. Oh, it's backwards. One, three. <laughs> F. Is my designation. Um. Uh. How, wow. What? You're amazing. Uh. To behold. I was just curious. Um. Do. You, where did you come from? I mean, like, how? Who? I came from were you Created or were you born? Yeah. I was created um, on McKinnis. Did someone? But who created you? My creator. Who's the creator? The overseer of the workshop in which I was made. Is that creator a uh, mechanical like you? Yes. And where did they come from? Mechanics. And who created them? I do not know. That is not information that I was given. Well, where all of you, um, is there a god or a goddess or or some sort of uh, being that created all of you to start with, or or did you evolve? Like how how did you all there come to be? I'm Finland I elbows know. Jack and does this like <clears throat> like. Uh, <laughs> 
Jack, uh, like, mo motions to Finland to, like, walk with everyone else and is just kind of, and taps uh, Robin on the shoulder. Uh, Robin? Just for a minute, please. I'll never get to talk to anyone like this again. Yeah? I I know, but Bastet's already all the way back there, and we need to make sure that yeah. she's okay. Uh, can I just have and we still time? have to find the Alhoon! <laughs> just one, just one more, just one more. I promise it'll be fast. One. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. In S four three. Oh, I just. Do you do you have a book or or a download that I can have for more information that I can take with me? You can download it into my construct, maybe. I just. There's so much I want to know, and I don't have any time. But is there any way you can give me some information, like a little flash drive or something? That's one question. There he goes. Flash drive? I do not know what this is. Some kind of information uh, stick or or something? That, I, that was the one no, question? No, no. I just, a book? You have a book? There are no books. Well, there are, Mechanus does not produce books. Paper is not found on Mechanus. And, and Jack just, just kind of like <laughs> tries to, Jack is, trying really hard not to touch Robin without her consent and at the same time like doesn't want to interrupt and so like just kind of carefully grabs Robin's paw and is like let go <laughs> when Jack grabs Robin's paw Robin looks at Jack with heart in their eyes like you can see Robin kind of flushes a little bit and just like Oh. oh, okay, we, we can go. Thank goodness. And like, Jack didn't catch any of that <laughs> and is just very focused on making sure they're all going in the same direction. So as you head off, um, NS413F is standing on the platform and goes, if you return to Mechanis, please keep your fuzzy creatures in check like jack turns around and just uh, just does a salute <laughs> i turn around and look at jack do you think that it also means whistler well i think robin's fuzzier than whistler well bastet is fuzzier than all of us so i suppose that it is very good that bastet went back And you've noticed, and then the 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 Warforged has like started walking off back on their whatever they were doing beforehand. Um, so you guys make it on the conveyor belt, and you're starting to approach where the conveyor belt goes underneath the gear. So if you stay on the conveyor belt, and there's, no. then yeah. you're, going to, <laughs> you're going to go underneath the gear. Otherwise, you're going to I definitely do that, that, like, do that thing that you do when you're visiting, like, a new city or a foreign country that you have never been to, and you get off, like, way too early because you don't want to, like, miss it <laughs> and, like, totally screw up. Yeah, so, like, I got off the conveyor belt, like, two blocks before this. So, yeah, if you guys, and then you see Bossette is just waiting there for you guys. Um, as, as, as we, as we approach... Um, Zareth, um, speaks, a, uh, speaks a few words in Draconic, um, and casts Fly on Jack. Okay. Um, oh, oh, oh! So, like, large ethereal wings that match your personality <laughs> erupt from your back. <laughs> I reach up to try and grab Jack's feet, because this is freaking me out, and I think something terrible is happening. It doesn't like launch you in the air. <laughs> um, uh, okay, then, well, there's, it's an unusual weight that I am not used to of wings erupting from behind my back. Um, I'm going with, they are the, they're like bat wings, um, like that, the leather between, uh, bone, um, and they're the same, like, grayish green, uh, skin that I have, uh, and I'm just like, oh, I guess I'm doing this. Uh, and uh, Zareth takes three more steps forward, says the word shift in Draconic, and uh, 
and does a 30 foot um, uh, misty step onto the platform and walks yeah. through the portal. Sarah <laughs> um, cast fly on Jack and misty steps up and is gone out. Yep. <laughs> uh, so Sarah's I think Finland like tried to grab uh, Jack. Oh, and I haven't couldn't. started flying yet. I, huh? I haven't oh, started flying yet. I'm still like testing, like kind of flapping these wings. They itch where they come out of my back. And like, I'm just like trying to scratch under my armor and it's not working. Um, um, I have an idea. Uh, keep an eye on the others. And um, I'm going to take a 10 foot sprint before jumping and this is within my easily within my vertical yeah. jump now so yeah, i just yeah do your do your jump i do my jump so i do my sprint and i jump straight up basically yeah. uh and can get on top and then i'm gonna lower a rope i don't know how we're getting i don't know how we're getting uh panned up but so yeah, um, you, you, well, do, you, do you anchor the rope, like do you hold on to the rope or do you like anchor it to one of the gear that- I put it on one of the gears, uh, okay. but you... I don't, it's not a particularly super long rope. Uh, hey, don't we have a magical rope? It's the one <laughs> um, that can be cut and repaired. Yeah, so I don't have that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I tie it off and I let it down and I'm like, um, if you need to climb up, use this. Uh, so who wants to climb up? Can you oh. take Pan up for me? Uh, well, what I was going to try and do was, uh, once everybody else has climbed up the rope, is tie it around Pan's something and then try and help hoist it. <laughs> That's a good idea. You're really smart. I'm really not. Um. <laughs> That's a great idea. The paper yeah, says. Please, please, please just <laughs> like the wings are still just absolutely. I'm I'm flabbergasted. I am. I don't know why Zareth picked me. Was it because I remembered that he can cast fly? I don't know. I uh, I totally like down. Has an answer for it, and I'm I, I'm excited to hear somebody ask him that question. <laughs> I think they look very good on you. Yeah, can I do a sketch of you with your wings? You look so beautiful. Can, can we go back through the portal first, please? Here, oh, jump up and grab my arm. Grab my arm. And like, Jack is just like, keeps motioning hey, everybody go, towards go. the rope. Oh, your mom, I'm wearing the shirt. No, she's gone. Uh, Whistler, did you already go up? <laughs> Uh, I was I was about to like oh, grab the rope. Okay, I so I reach underneath my cape and I take off. I have a shield on my back and I take that and I give it to Whistler and I go like, hold this, and I tap myself, uh, cast fly, and then wings come out and I, I pick up Whistler, and I like take Whistler with me. <laughs> Does everybody get wings? Huh? I hold my wing I arms out and I'm like, this is great. <laughs> it's like the Titanic. Nelly has grabbed you underneath the arms, and you've got your. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm securing the rope around Pan. Nice. Okay. Because I'm going to just climb up the rope. So, easy. Bostet, have you already climbed up? I assume. Attach another rope to Pan, so that if we have like two people pulling okay. him up instead of just two ropes pulling. Because I was about to ask, one. how heavy is Pan? Pretty heavy. Most likely. Um, um, so he so out of wood. That's all. However, however heavy right. determines pan weight. Just so, just so that like it's easier, you know, yeah. a rope under the front and a rope, rope the back, a, yeah. front, a front arms and a rope under the back arms. And so, and then I climb up with it attached to me so that we can pull them up, them up, it up. I help you up this part of the rope. Right. Thank um, you. I think extra arms here will be needed well, and jack like once once pan has like gone up a, a couple of feet like starts pushing up on pan as well and like is testing out her new wings uh for if i have to have a strength check i rolled an 18 and it would be plus four yeah you guys with all of you that are up there 
you guys can get the oh, you guys can get pan everybody climbs up the rope and you are back all up the platform except for Zareth who's already just gone through uh, you guys are back at the top there's the portal and you can head through it Woot. oh I immediately go to Zareth where is Zareth Zareth is through the portal and Houston is Zareth? and when H- the two in Houston are frozen Emily and David are literally and figuratively. Can you hear us? We can yeah. hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. I go. Yeah. I go to find Zareth. Zareth, can you hear me? Zareth is through the. Zareth cannot hear you because you cannot hear through the portal. Yeah. You will have to go through the. Oh, portal. I go through the portal. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I go through the portal okay. and I rush over to Zareth. Okay. And I'm like Zareth. Mm-hmm. Hey Zareth. You you know how to travel between the planes, don't you? I do. Someday, when when after we beat the Alt Moon, can you bring me back to Mechanis? Because there's so much I want to learn, and I, I didn't have enough time, and and they really wanted to come back. Do you think you could you could help me get back to Mechanis? Uh, um, yes, I I suppose that's something I could do for you. Thanks, what, man. That'd be what, so great. I just. What took y'all so long? I gave Jack wings so that she could get everybody up. We had to get Pan up. Construct to bring up. The construct is medium size. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, it's giant. It's, it's medium size, uh, made of a lot of wood. And I tell yeah. you what, it doesn't help you. It does not grab onto the rope and help. It's like picking up a small child who is throwing a temper tantrum. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, I'm like, <laughs> 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 Oh, um, it's, I don't think others want me to touch them. Uh So I gave you the wing. Okay. Isn't it like, isn't that consent, right? Okay. That's Um, a thing you'll, right? Robin, can you tell the fairy fire so that... This portal can be closed, please. I will say, I Gareth is the very epitome of the Will Smith gif of he's got the spirit. <laughs> he's a little confused, but he got the spirit. Like that's what's going on right now. This is a thing. Whistler, that is you have the cool. little, you have the pixie <laughs> stick of, yeah, you have the pixie I stick of Sparkle Robin Doom. Has fairy fire. Robin has spell fairy fire. Oh. We were given the small stick to do this I, also, so. Save and then the I wouldn't have to use spell slot. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use the stick. I don't know. I just to hold it. And watch it. Yeah, it's like a, it's like it. What happens is you like break off the tip and it turns and you can see it start to light up a little bit, and you're like, you just hold it, and then sparks start coming out of it, and then more sparks start coming out of it, and then we it's all. Starts- Take a step back. <laughs> she was like a giant Roman. It basically turns into a Roman candle. Yep, I'm loving it. Uh, Jack, have you, Jack, have you ever flown? Well, now I have. Whistler is Whistler's light dancing. Whistler's just like it'll. The spell will last for more than an hour. I recommend you take the opportunity to enjoy yourself a bit. He's, he turns and starts you know, walking back to town. Jack is just like, I, I, like, and like, tries out, tries flapping a couple of times and just kind of hovers. Um, I'm going to uh, go over so that I can hold Jack's hands and I'm like, go on, go on, uh, flap, flap, uh, I've got I, you. And like, Jack like kind of like clunks down is like, I like the ground. <laughs> uh, I walk through the portal. Aww. I still have my wings too, and yeah. I pick up my uh, my crabs. Bag of crabs. Yeah, my crabs. Bag of crabs. I asked for my shield back too. 
Because I gave my shield to Whistler. I it over and be like, kind of quietly eyeing the wings. Like, that was so cool. Yeah, and I shoved the shield back under. They still have the wings. They're just me. Um, so Finland sort of, like, stands in, in the race paddy for a second and is watching Zara kind of walk back towards town and uh, Whistler is sitting there, like, with this roaming candle <laughs> sort of doing stuff. Um, and, but it, it like, kind of she kind of zones back into what the mission is. Like, you know, she's super focused. Um, Nelia, you are... You are from here, yes? No. I just work you, here. But do you... But you are here often, I see you. Are you aware we are looking for caves? Do you happen to know where there are caves around here? Uh, Nelia, you do not. I was like, I live on the river. Uh, <laughs> so no... <laughs> Okay, so they are probably not... They're not on the river. Yeah. <laughs> um, so other than, like, mountains that are to our north, what other... We can go ask the people that own the farm, because I have to go over there anyways to get paid. <laughs> okay, I mean, we have no information, so... Asking they might somebody, know something. Are we just letting Zareth go? Okay, that's happening. <laughs> I think he showed what's the word um by providing Jack with wings and helping us get out of Mechanis and being you know with us while trying to find out who giving us guidance I think he's shown you know more of his true colors and what his goals are and that he's Hopefully not. Evil. Yes, he seems to be. Us. He he definitely seems to be understanding how a group works together better. We're not kissing the enemy yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. And that was <laughs> so maybe we should um go get him and bring him back. Yeah. Does anybody want to go get Zara? I cast message. Oh, I will. I was like, I can cast message. I get on. Him. Okay, Nelia, okay. you cast I, message. I get on Pan and Pan go, can run. I, well, I'll message get him faster than Pan. I will say that. <laughs> Just message, insane. bam, and uh, go Zareth. I'm like, hey Zareth, it's uh, it's the new person you don't care about. Uh, we want you to come back. Uh, you can reply by the way, and that's it. <laughs> I'm come back, good buddy. What? I am keenly aware how spells work, new person. Is the message you get to me. I sent uh, another I message. I will say whisper. <laughs> so you're coming back? No response? Yeah. He turns around and looks confused as to why the group is kind of like standing in a circle and kind of like pantomimes like, let's go guys. I point to the people <laughs> that own the farm, which is a different direction. Ugh. Whistler's kind of Whistler's still side eyeing Zareth for the record. <laughs> Just uh, Whistler, your, your, candle, your, your Roman candle has gone out. There's still now like this blue kind of cloud of sparkles in the sky, but it, nothing is coming out of the stick anymore. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll, I'll head back. <laughs> the rest of the group is going. Um. Jack, like, is j Jack is still, like, playing with the wings and everything and is waiting for everyone to go in front so that she can just kind of, like, keep trying. <laughs> she doesn't want people watching her. I don't mind one away. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna have Pan walk me right, right next to Zareth. Um, and I would like to pepper him with questions along the way. So if anyone else has another action that they would like to speak out before I start asking Zareth questions, you're welcome to. So do you guys want to head towards the, 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 the people? Okay, so you start heading in a southwesterly direction. To, you're, you're following Nelia because you guys, you guys don't know where the people live to go get paid. Nelia, no, wherever Nelia is going, that's where I'm going. 
So, so well, Nelia, working class working solidarity. Nelia was helpful with with Mick, and she seems okay. Nelia, <laughs> Nelia, do you? Do you if, I do not know how to say this. Maybe I do not have the words, but um, you know, it is not every day that a portal opens up right next to you, and you just decide that it is a good idea to go in. Are you? This sort of person who leaps before they look. I ask because we've sort of full up on those. <laughs> uh, I mean, sometimes. The position has been filled! Oh. <laughs> I think they should get inspiration for that, though. <laughs> I mean, sometimes. It, it depends on the situation, I guess. Uh, it, it, something occurs and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'll go and do that. Uh, the portal looked cool. Uh, haven't seen one of those. So, so I, 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 I ask because... Um, so we are looking for this very evil creature yeah, who... Well, it's sort of <laughs> in the forefront of our mind right now. Mm -hmm. And the Just thing like is, it is very dangerous. And you should know that it, it can get inside of your head and make you think things. Mm -hmm. And make you see things. And, and it is very, very scary. And we don't know where it is. And we don't know how it finds us. But you should, you should be aware that until it is found and destroyed, that this is something that could happen to you. I know. Just saying. No, it's, I, I fully understand. Uh, I've had worse, probably, maybe. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, Robin, what are the questions you are asking Zareth while you are peppering him with questions? Oh, yeah. I'm asking him questions about other dimensions, other planes of existence. What kind of places has he visited? How how does he get there? How does he get back? Where You know, things like that. So if you wanted us to have that conversation, we can. But Robin is becoming more and more interested in interdimensional travel and all the things that there are to learn in other places, I think. Okay, uh, Zareth, you're more than welcome to answer the questions to your comfort. Sure. Um, Zareth realizes very quickly that sating your curiosity about actual places that he's been is not gonna happen. Um, so he reaches into his, uh, into his jacket pocket and pulls out his magical compass and begins to explain to you how that works because he imagines that if he does that, he can talk and you will listen and you won't ask him a whole bunch of questions. It works um, real good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend the time like, um, like uh, carefully teaching Robin how my compass works and like how I navigate through the astral sea, sea with it. And like, um, and uh, so Robin, one of the things that you'll realize about the compass is that it has um, a it has a, a spell on it that will open a portal to a different plane of existence. Um, and it's how you, you figure out pretty quick, that's how he got here. And it's probably how he plans on going home. And it's, and but so it Robin wants to, to know, how do I get me one of those? At this point, you guys come to a house. <laughs> no, no. It only no. takes about ten minutes to walk to this house, uh, and the door. Uh, you know where to go, Nelia. The back door is closed, but I mean, of course, you can knock. You can just. I do that. Knock on the door. <laughs> um, um, the one of the um, one of the owners, uh, a lizard folk uh, named uh, Teles, opens the door. And looks at you and goes, "Hello." Uh, yeah, and I, I pull out in the bag. There's like a smaller bag of some crabs, and I hand it to them. Uh, here's your food. 
takes it. Yep. All right, thank you. Yep. Uh, be right back. Goes back, gives you a few pound, uh, gives you about ten gold coins yeah. for doing your your weekly crab clean out of the uh, yes. rice at rice fields, and is like doing my duty. Uh, uh, well done. Thank you very much. Good doing business with you. Yep. Uh, uh, see you next week. We're uh, all standing like awkwardly uh, in the background. And then, and then this lizard folk goes, and uh, hello to you behind. Did you hire people, Nelia? Did you hire some no, employees? No, I met them uh, when I was doing the job. Uh, so, depending on how yeah, it goes with them, uh, <laughs> may or may not be coming back next week. Uh, we'll see. I'll let oh, you... we picked them to, to, for you to leave. We've got to, we had to find somebody else to come up and get those cards. Yeah, that's why I'm letting you know now. So in case, uh, so you have at All least right. a week um, to try and find someone else. And he looks at his, he's just like, do you lot need jobs? Were you looking for jobs while you were out in the- looks offended all over again. <laughs> I, I, I did death stare to Zareth and I'm like, these are nice people, um, god damn it. No, no, thank you. I am, I am on my Aza. So, but, um, but we did I, have I, questions. I all right. <laughs> uh, we, looks we... Maybe Jack yeah. not in the field of vision. Okay. And if you're looking for Jack, you might look up. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Well, we uh, we uh, had a, we were we are trying to find someone, and we think that this right. someone might be in a cave, but we do not know the area well enough to know where these caves might be. So we are asking, um, you because you are here, if you happen to know of any caves cave entrances in this area not down here no um I, I don't know what this means um no caves down here in the swampy areas kind of counterintuitive to caves you'd probably want to go north for caves um or and maybe talk to some people in the protectors or at the lodge or something yes that's probably our next step it's probably okay Okay, yeah, Nelia, really, hope to see you again. If not, um, if you have any recommendations for anybody else who could do this, then let I, me know. I'll try and send someone your way. All right, thank you very much. Yep. Um, nice meeting you lot. Um, oh, um, I might be losing power and or internet fairly soon because I'm hearing some noise outside of my apartment. So it's starting to sleep. Yeah. So, and I live in an apartment complex, so it's I'm connected to other people. So we'll see what happens. So we might try to wrap this up. There's no reason why I wanted to end it pretty early tonight. So we can So wrap we hope it back to town and talk to the Emerald Protectorate. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys hustle back to town. Jack flies. Well, I actually I had a question. Like, if if I'm flying, do I see anything from up above that might help us? No, you cannot really get high enough to get like a, a true bird's eye view of this topography. Um, what you see now is you see the town of Rendenhurst in your field of vision going north, and you see the rice paddies to the south, and you see the um, the river to the east, and you see even further past Rendenhurst, you see the tree line. You don't see, you can't like look down and like see holes in the earth or anything like that. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, hey, Dora. So yeah, yeah uh, Jack is very embarrassed by her um, clumsy attempts to fly. She does not feel comfortable in the air. She is very much a person of the earth. And uh, so she is, she's trying, but anytime that like someone looks back at her, she is almost immediately like, clunking back down on the ground. Finlan like, is being, like, overly supportive about it. Like, like, super big thumbs ups and, like, like you got this. Nel <laughs> Nelly is 100%, like, giving Jack tips on how to, like, fly and be like, keep the legs straight, point toes, uh, like, just make sure that you're trying to be aerodynamic. So, uh, some of you, who's going to cream? 
Zareth, Robin, Bostet, where are you going? Are you going to the Temple of Melora? Yes, yeah. We will save your visit to the Temple of Melora for next yeah. time, if you have more time. Yeah. But no, you are heading that direction. Uh, same I'm thing for, for Robin and Zareth going to Cream. You guys can do new best friend things over at Cream, and we can do that uh, next time. But we will end when we, you guys, uh, the, the whoever, I guess, uh, uh, Whistler, Jack, Finland, and uh, Nelly, are you going to the Emerald Protectors, or are you, where are you oh, going? Uh, I have to go back to my boat to just to drop off the crabs. Yeah, Nelly goes back to her boat on the river to drop off her her um, her bag of crabs. Yeah, and I assume that I like kind of like navigate the boat to kind of be closer to uh, Rindy yeah, Hers, so I do that. Yeah. So um, the three of you who go to the Emerald Protectors, um, when you ca came in this morning, well, two of you, Jack, you were not here this morning. Um, the scouts were there. It is a little bit quieter. There is not six. There are not sixteen, seven to eight year olds milling about, just like ah, and <laughs> just waiting to go on a camping trip. Um, it's a lot quieter. There's just like people doing paperwork and filling stuff out, and um, you come back in and uh, you notice uh, so they're like, oh. Uh, somebody's like, oh, did you not see, um, she, Kita, they already went to the, did you pass them on the way? We Us? must have come back a different direction. Uh, we had a quick detour. Oh, they went down the river. It's faster if you travel that way. Oh, um, guess we must have just gone past each other. I'm sure it will be fine. We actually are here because, um, we are looking, hopefully, for a, a map, uh, something that could help us find caves. We know we found um, a decent-sized cave in the forest, but we were wondering if it's part of a larger cave go, system. Oh, um, yeah, uh, you... Who should you talk to? Um, Whistler. You technically are the only one who can come back with me for this. We will wait. Mm-hmm. Come. Do I still have wings? No, you do not have wings anymore. It's been over an hour. It's... It, I believe flies 10 minutes per level, so it's closer to two hours. Yeah, but by the time you guys have walked and all that stuff, it's... Wings oh, are... Good. Yeah. Um... You had them for close to two hours. Yeah. Um, so, Whist uh, sorry, you two uh, other people, but Whistler's technically the only member of the Protectors here, and we kind of have to keep some, you know, levels of whatever. Um, no, I understand. So, Whistler, um, come on with me. I'll have you been to the map room? The, um, it's like our library. Okay. It's There's like a library, and it's got like a map room section of it. Recently? Whistler's not big on <laughs> Yeah, I think Whistler probably went, yeah, there are books in there. <laughs> That's <laughs> that. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Whistler, while taking the tour, was like, never going back in there again. All right. Here Got we it. go. <laughs> uh, they go, um, sure. Uh, let me take you in there. And there's they take you to the section of the maps. And they're like, um, if there's any information on cave structures, it would be back here. And there is, a, it's like a giant wooden crate full of maps that you get to look through, Whistler. You're welcome. Thanks. Um, I, before they, like, try to leave, I'm just like, um, yeah. Reincarnated people. And they go, uh, what about what about them? Dangerous, good, bad. I I don't think that's really a yes no good bad question. Which so looks uh, very. It depends on the purpose. Perfect. Like, why did they come back? Who sent them back? What they do when they are reincarnated? Do are they not? just? Are they still themselves? Wait, Tiamat. Tiamat. Well, Tiamat's kind of the worst. <laughs> so, I don't. I'm over here like, 
Tiamat's the worst! <laughs> Just the worst! Just the worst! <laughs> um, what about Tiamat? Did you, but Reincarnated Gith as Dragonborn. And this little elf is like, oh, out of their depth, just going, I, that's something you might want to talk to other people about. I, sorry, I don't have all the, I, who, what? Talk to other people, who? Talk to, talk to Kata or Orwind or, or, or talk to people, talk to the Temple of Melora or Pelor or the Raven Queen or people at the, the the nature walkers board or somebody who isn't me i grow i grow things man i grow that's what i do a tiamat grow things no tiamat destroys things whistler yes! my whistler my specialty is flowering trees Fruit trees. That is what I do. I specialize in that. That is that is what I do. I'm only working the front desk because I gotta get my hours in at the front desk for the month. <laughs> Tiamat. Tiamat. We got, yes. Flower, flowering trees. Yes, Tiamat does that. So, Tiamat is bad. She's like almost stimming, like just like what. How do I convey this? Uh, Tiamat bad. Yes, followers. Tiamat is bad. Followers of Tiamat. Probably not the best people. Mm, 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 mm -hmm. They're like, just like tapping her nose. Like, yes, you got it. Yes. So, so, okay. Uh, okay. <sighs> So Tiamat is bad. Yes, we know this. Yes. Tiamat is an evil, destructive deity. Yes. Entity. People who follow Tiamat as their chosen deity, probably not the most trustworthy or um, best. Does that make sense? Yes! Yes, we agree on this. I don't know what else you need from me, Whistler. <laughs> All of the nuance that she can convey. That's what she needs. <laughs> Come to cream and we'll talk about it. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, let me roll. <laughs> okay. Good. Good enough. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what I did, but you're welcome. Nothing, man. <laughs> uh, just kind of grumpily stomps over to the crates of maps, realizing that she's going to have to go and, like, either ask Torbeck at her temple or go to the Temple of Melora and be like, someone's got to get on uh, this. So, um, Whistler, make an investigation check as you start looking through these crates of maps. Angrily. Can I say Angrily. that can, Honestly, can Nelia can have approached like the Emerald Protectors already with my yeah. speedy boat? Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, was Finland in there too? Yeah, Finland Finland and um and Jack are just kind of waiting in the lobby. Uh, okay, uh well where'd Whistler go? I'm asking both of you guys. Oh uh, uh, uh where we cannot go in the back. Oh, uh, We're waiting. You want to wait with us? Yeah, sure. And I send Mick. <laughs> Mick scurries off. I send Mick um, to try and figure out where Whistler is. Uh, Mick, I mean, it's not like it's like she's down five hallways down, yeah. you know, but pretty close. And Whistler, as you're sitting there going like this, you see a familiar little fuzzy creature kind of and then Mick come by you. And I'm gonna then see through Mick. And then have Mick starting oh, help yeah, Whistler. Have you seen Mick's normally brown yeah, eyes turn to that Mick's red? Mm. Jack really likes Mick. And like, 
just kind of like offers her finger, her giant ass finger out for scritches. Yeah, he, he'll, he'll do the thing and he'll be like, yes. <laughs> um, yeah. So Nick's eyes go from their normal like brown or whatever to the, oh, hello kitty. <laughs> Speaking of fuzzy creatures. <laughs> That's me. Um, so you have Nick's eyes are now red, which you're like, that's weird, but okay. That's weird. And then Bridges? I'll cast Mitch. I'll cast Witch's message through Mick to Whistler, and uh -huh. tell Whistler, uh, "This is Nelia. I'm here to help you. I guess <laughs> you can reply if you want." So Mick has kind of scrambled up onto your shoulder and just kind of like perched on your shoulder, Whistler. Um, what? Who am I? In my head, talking. Who? Yeah. Who am I? Are you talking through the ferret? Cast message. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a cool thing that some people with magic can do. <laughs> and you can just hear me when I talk. If you choose to reply to the message, yeah. I feel like she's kind of sitting there, like, slightly stunned, probably until the very end of when the message allows a response. <laughs> Just like, this is the coolest thing I've ever heard. How do you, how do you do this? Uh, someone taught, uh, don't send message again. <laughs> so, someone taught me how to do it. Um, I don't know how other, other people who know it. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> you have a 13 intelligence and are willing to take a wizard level? <laughs> You're right. Or nope. magic or mage initiate. You could do mage you could do magic initiate. <laughs> that we'll talk really at cool. level eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Rut row. Um, so yeah. um so you and Mick, so you can get, you will get advantage on your investigation check because Mick is helping you. That's why I wanted or, to do that. <laughs> helping you through Mick. Fun story. I was going to roll a disadvantage at first because I was so angrily distracted by Zareth and Tiamat and etc. But I rolled a four and a six, so I truly don't think it matters because I have a minus one to investigation. Oh, no. So it's a three or a five. <laughs> Whistler, you. There's just so, so much. much on my mind. It's not on. Zareth is probably bad. You can talk to Nelia. Nelia can talk to you through her ferret somehow. <laughs> I'm you talking to a ferret, but it's great. But you also don't know if the ferret can do that by itself normally. Is it Nelia who's doing it or is it the ferret who has the ability? Uh, and you just get really distracted and you stop going through and you just literally stop looking for the map. Okay, as soon as- I will just like with my hands on them and just like be asking these questions like, okay, but is it, is it Mick? I mean, I know you said I'm talking to Nelia, but is it Mick doing this or is it Nelia? Um, Can Mick Mick's do this alone? Mick's gonna jump into the bucket, into like the bucket of stuff and start <laughs> okay. like just kind of like weaseling in. Okay, so now stuff. this time, Nelly and you make an investigation check because you are actively looking for these damn maps. Yeah, um, that's a 16. Okay, so as as Mick, if Mick has to kind of jump and look at a map and go down, <laughs> he's doing like spelunking. He's doing this weird like spelunking thing, kind of looks through. And Whistler, you feel rather than anything else, there is a map because Mick takes it in his mouth and goes <laughs> and kind of toss, tries to toss it out of the bucket. And so it's you just, <laughs> paper comes flying at you. Folding it. <laughs> and it is um, it is a map of the underground cave systems underneath the Emerald Weald. There is a series of caves deep underground, and they are underneath the actual forest. And as as I find out myself uh, in the lobby, I'm just gonna be like, "Found it!" 
Do you pop so it out? Before you say found it, Fendlin was like getting really, really close to your face and like snapping. <laughs> and like. Yes, so, so weird. Uh, found it, <laughs> pops out, and looks at Fendlin and is like, What the fuck are you doing? Uh oh. Can you hear me? I can now. Oh no. Oh no. Everybody, okay, cool. Everybody, everybody's I think we're getting real close to losing uh <laughs> everyone. Yeah. Uh yeah. So, so yeah, everybody's as you're like as you're like doing bad. all this and stuff. Alright, we found a map! <laughs> you found a map of a cave system, and this map is of the cave system underneath the emerald wheel. So you're gonna have to go back in the forest. Where you originally came from. <laughs> Yay! So one question. One question first. When we came in and they were talking about the Emerald Scouts going along the river, would Whistler think we should have passed them? We should have seen those little children. No, the Scouts were going Chris. They're totally never real. Yeah, the, it was, it, no, it, she was, the person was talking about, um, the person you were talking to, uh, Shay, that's who you were talking to, that elf that is a master of, of orchards, essentially. Um, was talking about uh, Kita and the uh, the people who were coming to close the portal. They the went portal down closers, the as opposed to so walking I through the rice paddy. <laughs> so probably, yeah, so they were going down the river, which is a faster. No, way. the little the little emerald scouts have yeah. gone towards the bad guy. Yeah, the emerald scouts have gone into the forest where the illithid is somewhere underneath. So okay, you're welcome.